right, when we first started doing these videos, I warned you from the beginning not to expect too much on the uh, production side of things. Well, here in Tulsa, it is 9.25 on a Thursday night and my cameraman is long gone. So I am left to set this up by myself. I did have some fantastic help though from my beautiful wife, Deborah, in setting all of this up because I promise you I could not have made it look this good. So, but what we're gonna do for you guys is a recipe uh, actually, we posted a picture on social media of just a crane hunt that we did from our last from Field to Table event. And I posted a picture of uh, one of the main dishes uh, that we use, Sandhill Crane, and it got tons of attention. So I thought, man, let's make a video. I'm going to use the very last of the crane that I have here. In fact, this is the only crane piece right here. The other two are goose, so we're going to try them out as well. What we're going to make is Chef Witch's Carne Asada Sandhill Crane Style. So I'm just going to run through this real quick, tell you what we've got. We have a variety of different spices. All this will be on from fillthetable.com, so make sure you check it out there. But we're going to marinate this overnight, which is why I'm doing this at 9.30 at night, because I have to be ready first thing in the morning to go. But it will marinate in the different spices I was just telling you about. Uh, we uh, chopped up some jalapeno. Then we have lemon juice, we have lime juice, and some orange juice. Uh, we also have some olive oil, some pepper oil, and then uh, in addition to that, we also have some green onions, and we're just gonna mix all of that together in a bowl, put the uh, sandhill crane and the goose in it, let it marinate overnight, and then we'll be coming back tomorrow morning and start getting everything prepped and cook it, and we will make some carne, carne asada, like I said, Sandhill Crane style. So, see you guys in the morning. All right, so I am back. I know I told you I would see you in the morning, but it is uh, 3.49 p.m. and uh, we're just now getting started on the second part of this. But hey, guess what? Guess who decided to show up and actually grace us with his presence? The guy behind the camera. Yeah, 9.30 at night, you know when he sent me into voicemail? Because he was busy. That's what he had the nerve to tell me this morning. He was busy. I didn't send him into voicemail. I was at dinner with my girlfriend. Um, you all heard it. You all heard it. Didn't yeah. send you to voicemail. Yeah. I saw that you were calling me. I ignored it. I'll admit that. Yeah, but see? I was at dinner with the girlfriend, and I knew he wanted to talk business. I didn't want to talk business. See again. there? Yeah, an entrepreneur is always on call at all times. He hasn't figured that out yet. So anyway, he's here now actually doing his job, so that part's kind of cool. Uh, and now we're back to our crane and goose carne asada. Would it actually be carne, I guess? Cameraman's flipping me off right now. <laughs> but I write his paycheck, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, so I know that one's a goose. This is the other goose. It's like I'm still saying goose, goose, or duck, duck, goose, or whatever it is. And that one is the crane. So we're going to dry these off. We're going to get a pan hot with some oil. And we're just going to pan sear them to, I don't know, about 120. Let them rest for a little while while we prep everything else. And we're going to give it a try. I know whenever Chef and our clients did it at our water towel from field to table, they were outstanding. So I hope I can get them just at least close to that and we're gonna try it with goose as well. So should be all right. We're gonna add a little something extra extra to this one just to see how it turns out. But that marinade, man, should be some good stuff. All right, so let's go get our pan heated up. And we're gonna throw these things on. It didn't take too long at all. That's one cool thing about this recipe. Easy. All right, so for this one, we're gonna use a high temp avocado oil. And uh, just putting some in the pan. Let that heat up. And then into the frying pan they go. We still have more ingredients to add to this yet too. Man, multitasking. So it's the first hour in the oven, 
for the uh, Elk Bougeron, Bougeron, whatever it's called. We need the French guy again. Here he is. Beef Bourguignon. Beef Bourguignon. <laughs> uh, and we're in the process of making our crane carne asadas as well. Our, our crane asadas, I guess is what you would call them. So we're doing two for one, but they're gonna be two separate videos. So we're giving away a little bit of our magic here. Y'all ready? Showtime. Oh yeah. Crane, goose, goose. All right, let's flip these over. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, this is my first time ever cooking any type of waterfowl this way. We have uh, smoked uh, duck before uh, from just doing some pond jumping, but the first time doing it this way, we know that we want it rare. And uh, I did talk to Chef uh, Albert right before I started this, and. He said, I should be able to tell by the touch, but it's going to feel firmer than what a steak would. So we'll see here in a little bit how this turns out. Is that good? <laughs> Duke never misses a meal. An opportunity for me to drop something is what he doesn't miss. All right, so I told you I was a little nervous about it and for good reason. So that's still pretty dang rare. I mean, it's definitely edible, but here's the thing. If you overcook it, you can't take it back. I can put this back in the pan, which is exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm still going to eat this. Flavor is amazing. So just a couple more minutes, hopefully on each side, and we'll be good to go. All right, see so y'all, check this out. Look at the differences between this is goose, and look how red that crane is. I mean, is, that's why they call it the ribeye in the sky or the flying flake, because it eats just like a steak, and that's what it looks like. So anyway, pretty big difference. And all those people that are saying you can't make goose taste good, I don't even know what the heck I'm doing. I just have some chefs to be able to talk to. This tastes fantastic and it's not even completely done yet. So you guys are missing the boat somewhere. All right, round two, like I said, better safe than sorry. So we're going with this again. And that is better. The reason you want this rare is because anything over that, medium rare is still probably okay, but it starts to get a livery taste to it. Look at that. That's awesome. Mm, so good. Got a nice little crunch on the outside of it. Look at that. Nothing wrong with goose at all. Mm, man, that's good. All right, so we got a couple tortillas here. Now, here's the secret sauce right here. All of this is on the website too, from fillthetable.com. This is the mango coleslaw, and you mix that in with a little bit of the heat uh, from the uh, crane asada. Yeah, so. Put a little bit of that on the bum, adds a nice crunch to it as well. And then you got the sweet from the mango. Mm. Look at that. Also fried up a little jalapeno. One there, and then did the same with some red pepper. And then, the final thing from our friend Eduardo Garcia, his Montana Mex. This stuff is awesome. It's sweet and spicy. And I just transfer it over. <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> I just flipped the lid off and landed right in my, my uh, taco there. A little bit of that right on top. Look at that. A little bit of a lime squeeze. You ready to give her a try? Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my lord. Pretty edible, huh? That's the good stuff in life, right? Mm-hmm. 
Y'all should try it. Hi, Jabra. Come here. Hurry. We can't just have all the fun. She doesn't like to be on camera. We're not going to tell that you all are here. Yeah. The, co the coleslaw and the crane. Mm -hmm. Because we want, because we want you to eat it over the plate. Because you're recording. No, no. We're gonna try this. The whole thing's for me. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, I can help you with it. <laughs> huh? So didn't you just eat no, I shared with Eddie. Uh -oh. He's lying. You good? Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all, Hank, that little happy dance means that it's Deborah approved. So this is on the website from fieldtotable.com. Y'all are mean. I was like, shit. <laughs> you don't? You're wearing, a, you're wearing a hoodie and a hat. <laughs>